trying to get up to a pit. In Alachua County, Florida, the man in that stolen box truck is now driving on the wrong side of the road. Well, uh, wrong way to travel past Piccadilly. Continue on. As the driver passes school buses, police attempt a pit maneuver, meaning they try to smash the truck with their own cruisers. It doesn't work. And now the box truck driver is rumbling through a store parking lot. Everybody hold the traffic for a second and we'll call it. We're through the parking lot. We're about to come out of 34th Street. Moments later, a pit maneuver helps, and the driver jumps out. He does not make it very far. A short time after this arrest, records show Brandon J. Baker tried to pull police vehicle wires out with his mouth. Headline, I have problems. Carjacker damages inside a patrol car after high speed chase. Speed, traffic conditions, please. All of this began on the morning of August 23rd, 2022. Police in Tampa responded to reports of a carjacking. Brandon Baker allegedly took one victim's Nissan Maxima, drove to a house and tried to kidnap a woman he knew there inside. The woman escaped. Baker then jumped into the driver's seat of a white Isuzu box truck while the owner was outside the truck. Florida Highway Patrol officers used the truck's GPS to track down the vehicle, and Alachua County Sheriff's deputies joined the chase. Yeah, let's go, Justin. I'm coming up town and Archer, you know, I should have picked up. As the police spoke about putting stop sticks down, I'm at Oak Park, I'll put stop sticks here. I go the wrong way on the interstate. On the southbound off ramp. Baker drove the truck into and against traffic on a Highway 75 off ramp. From Northville on southbound side. That's great. Minutes later, Baker turned around. Turn around, turn around, turn around and got off the highway. Probably like red shirt, beard. Yeah. Westbound Arch Road, Westbound Arch Road. Did you fail? Negative. Baker repeatedly made odd right turns. And then U turns, and he seemed to be driving in circles. Despite all the traffic and commercial businesses along the roadway, the police then started pit maneuvers, hoping the truck would go out of control and crash. All right, where are you at now? Archer 93, Archer 93. 
Alongside a strip mall parking lot, there was another pit maneuver attempt. Hey, Billy, walked in at the perfect opportunity in that plaza. Hey, pulling into the best spot. Hey, Billy, walked in at the perfect opportunity in that plaza. Bring up my vehicle, also. taken to jail and charged with armed carjacking, burglary with battery, kidnapping, and grand theft auto. Authorities say he damaged half a dozen police vehicles, including the cruiser he sat in after the arrest when he allegedly chewed on several wires. Police say at least four civilian vehicles were damaged and two people, both police officers, suffered minor injuries. A law enforcement review found that all of the police officers responded appropriately. Many residents of Tampa are not so sure, noting that police guidelines say pit maneuvers should be restricted to isolated areas away from traffic and commercial businesses. Nonetheless, Mr. Baker reportedly expects to be in prison for several years. He says he is still not sure why he went on the carjacking spree and took off with the box truck. In any case, Mr. Baker insists he has no ill will towards the police, saying they were just trying to do their jobs. If you like this video, check out the one below. It's about a remarkable police chase in Colorado. 
Switch candy. I don't have candy. In Colorado, this was the moment when state police successfully deployed a stop stick on a man who had stolen one of their cruisers. He's in it. Good sticks. We gotta take it. The crash knocked over the rig on that 18-wheeler truck. And the collision at more than 90 miles per hour shredded much of the police vehicle. Any bottles of water? Mm, check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.